we are building an instrument for the nation as, a, as a, an indigenous instrument for the people, and the people refuse to sell us a drum. They refuse. And then and, and, and sometimes when we're in the pioneer tuning drums, then the police will come into the pioneer, chase us away, and take the drums away and smash them up. We cannot get the drum in the first place. We have to steal the drum. And when we do get the drum, they'll come take it away. And it was, it was such a backward way of thinking at the time. It was such a beautiful art form has been developed. And yet the people of the nation could not see the, the, uh, the, the, the necessity to help us. And people always said, what kept you going? It was some kind of an inner sense. Some, some, some inner force was driving me to do it. Because I would stop doing it and go to school, stop it and do another job, find another job. You're a smart boy. Why do you want to play these trash cans? Like, and your family is decent people. Why do you have to follow these bad Johns, you know, these bad boys, you know? And what was keeping me going, I don't know, but I did it. I gave up a scholarship. I gave up family. I gave up job. I gave up everything for trash can. But I made a trash can work. In my, in my mind, my whole philosophy in life is, uh, what does a prophet amount to keep what he knows to himself? Nothing, really. Because the steel drum is not going to go away. The steel drum is going to develop and grow as the years go by. It's going to grow.